Hi everyone and welcome to the Quillen Physicians webinar, Basic All Scripts Navigation for Providers. In this session we'll be covering the basics, how to navigate through the various screens in the workspace. Now once you've logged into All Scripts, you will automatically be taken to your workspace. The workspaces in All Scripts are defined by the user role, so your screen should say provider or resident up here in the upper left hand corner. If your correct job title does not show up here, please let us know as we will need to fix that for you. Now we'd like to point out some of the features and terms in the workplace here as you will hear these often throughout training. The tabs across the top of the page, daily, clinical desktop, note, task list, etc., comprise your horizontal toolbar or the HTB. The links on the left hand side of the page are your vertical toolbar or the VTB. The VTB will have three to four links depending upon your role in the office. The first link is chart, which gives you access to your schedules, the chart, etc. And this is where you'll spend the majority of your time. The next link is user options, which basically allows you to choose a different site if you practice in more than one clinic. And the home base is just a series of web links that we've set up for easy access to a variety of sites that you may use on a regular basis. And please feel free to let us know if there's a site that you would like us to add here. So that's the VTB. Let's click back on the first link, Chart, and we're going to pull in a patient so we can demonstrate the patient banner. Now there are several ways to pull up a patient, and the recommended and most likely method is to pull them in from your schedule, but we do want to show you how to pull up a patient who isn't scheduled. Underneath the HTB in the left-hand corner, you'll see a link called Select Patient with a drop-down arrow next to it. Click on the drop-down arrow and a small box appears which will have two choices, Search and Clear. Clicking on search will bring up another box in which you can type the patient's last name. And if you notice the small field next to the patient field, you'll see that you can also search by the patient's date of birth, medical record number, etc. Now because we're using patients who all have the last name of all scripts, we're going to leave this at name, and we're going to type in part of the patient's last name, and then just click search. Once your list populates, you're going to highlight your choice by clicking on it once, and then just click OK. As you notice here, this pulled the patient's name and demographic information into the area underneath the HTB, which is called the patient banner. Basically, the patient banner contains the demographic information on the patient, such as their name, medical record number, sex, age, date of birth, etc. Now, we also want to point out this yellow box over here in the corner called FYI. We tend to think of this box as replacing the sticky note on the chart. And items added here will include things like the patient is hard of hearing, or the patient requires an interpreter. It's just useful information that can be viewed by either the front desk or the clinical staff. If the FYI box on the patient banner is yellow, that means that there is something populated in there. If it's gray, it's empty. Now the small blue eye, or the information icon, over here in the corner is where the patient information is actually stored. As you can see here, the FYI box is here, as well as a chart alerts box, which is a section where clinical information can be placed. And we also have here demographic information on the patient, their PCP, the patient's primary language, emergency contact information, insurance information, Rx benefit plan, pharmacy, etc. Well, this is basically where the demographics are housed. And we want to point out one last little icon on the banner here, this small yellow triangle. If this icon is is on the banner if it's available if you can see it. It means that a history, a medical history consent has not yet been obtained on the patient. Once the consent has either been obtained or denied by the patient, it will disappear from the banner. Now when you first log into All Scripts, you should default to your daily schedule page. You'll see your list of patients for the day, and once they've been arrived or checked in at the front desk, you will be able to start your note. Now we're logged in as, as one of our fake physicians here, so we're going to go ahead and pull this physician in so we can show you this page. The, uh, the patients who have been checked in at the front desk do have the green um, ARR letters next to their name, and PEN, of course, stands for pending. 
The patient location and patient status is information that will generally be filled in by the nurse. Uh, once they've taken the patient back to the room, they will uh, change the room that, that the patient is in and the status, if they're ready for the physician to come in, if they're ready for the nurse, if they've been checked out, etc. This is just a handy way to kind of keep track of, of where your patients are in the visit. And one other section we'd like to point out here is the tasks field. And this is basically a to-do list on each of these patients. Now, if you want to actually view one of these tasks, you're going to highlight your patient by clicking on it once, and then go to your task list tab on the HTB and click on that. And as you can see here, your main view is my active tasks. But if you want to view all of the tasks assigned to the patient who's currently pulled into the banner, you can switch this to current patient active and as you can see here there this patient has a lot of tasks which are assigned to them now all of these will not need to be um, finished by you necessarily these are for everybody in the clinic um, you know front desk could be required to do some of these some of these will be need to be finished by the nurse etc but this is just all of the tasks that are assigned to this particular patient your default view is my active tasks and this is everything that um, you are required to do. So let's go back to the daily schedule real quick. And we want to show you how to access the patient's chart from here. If you single click, if you'll notice if you single click on a patient's name, it pulls them into the patient banner. If you double click on their name, um, it will go ahead and take you to the clinical desktop tab which is essentially their open chart. Now if you notice here there are three panes on the page. On the left you should have the following tabs, problem, notes, labs, imaging, and chart. And this is basically just a, a handy way of kind of rearranging the chart and looking at all of the information that's in there. The problem tab is where the patient's acute and chronic problems are listed. The Notes tab allows you to view all of the patient's notes. And as you can see by this drop-down box, you can view them in a variety of ways. You can view them all of the notes, which of course gives you everything, all by specialty, which breaks it down by specialty. And there are two or three other views in here, all by owner, by encounter, etc. cetera. Uh, the Labs tab should pull in all the labs, and this particular patient doesn't have any. Uh, imaging, of course, we'll pull in the imaging. And chart gives you, again, another way of viewing the chart. And again, here you have a variety of options on how you can view the chart. Your own particular specialty view is defaulted in, which means that you will only see the information that um, has been obtained in your specialty. But you can look at the other specialties. Um, you can look at it by problem, by section, etc. And we encourage you to get in here and kind of play around with these and uh, look at the views and just see what you can see and get accustomed to, to searching for things. Now over here on the right hand side you'll have a patient work list and this is where basically more tasks will flow in on a particular patient. Uh, meds is the next tab. This is just a quick way of looking at the patient's medications, allergies, orders, and appointments. And this pulls up all of the patient's appointments throughout the organization. And the bottom section of the screen here is a series of graphs. Uh, vital signs, immunizations, flow sheets, and the HMP, which is the health medical profile. Let's go back to the flow sheets really quickly. And we just want to point out that there aren't a lot of flow sheets in here currently but we can build these for you specially so if if you want to have a flow sheet built for vitamin B12 shots or depot injections or whatever we can do that for you and just let us know so that's a brief introduction of the clinical desktop which is basically the open chart from here you can view everything that you would normally see in the chart the progress notes letters from referring physicians labs x-rays etc now in order to document a new patient visit you're going to have to grab a fresh piece of paper, so to speak, to start a new note. This is accessed from one of three areas. Down here in the bottom toolbar, if you click New and Note, you can open a new note. You can also access it from the clinical toolbar here at the top, this little note icon, or from the 
note tab on the HTB. And we're going to go over this in the uh, next session. Now we want to quickly go over some of the other tabs on the HTB. We've already looked at the daily tab, the task list, and the clinical desktop. And the note tab, of course, is how you open a new patient note, which we'll cover in the next session. The documents tab contains all of your notes and labs that require a signature. And from here, you can quickly sign off on items. We think this is going to be a real time saver for you. Now, if you see over here on the left-hand side, there's one patient in the patient column. And clicking on his name pulls up the document that needs to be signed and what needs to be what needs to be done on it. And this one is a note that needs a finalization signature. And we want to point out one other little area here um, because we've been asked about this by a couple of physicians. The floating clinical toolbar, as you can see, actually does float around. It's, this will pop up in a variety of areas on different screens. If you click on this first icon here called QChart, this opens up the clinical desktop while you're still on the Documents tab. So if you're in here and you're signing off on labs and you can't remember who this patient is or why you ordered this lab, you can open up the clinical desktop by just clicking on that Q chart icon on the floating clinical toolbar and you have, you have access to their chart. So we think that will be very handy for you. Now the next tab that we want to look at is the Appointments tab. And again, just like what we saw on the clinical desktop, this is just a quick way of looking at all of the patient's upcoming appointments. And we will have this department field filled in. Um, we actually do have this fixed and working now, but it's not retroactive, so um, that's why it's empty at the moment. Now the next tab, Patient Lists, are lists that we can build for you so that you can keep track of different patient groups. For example, if you're a dermatologist and you would like to keep lists of your patients who need follow-up after excision for possible cancer, you can add their name to the patient list so that you have a quick, easy reference for this particular group of patients. We can also grant your nurses access to these lists so that they can add or delete patients into this group. And again, if you have lists that you would like us to build for you, please contact us and let us know. The last tab on the HTB is the Provider Schedules tab. Notice that there are four panes on this page. And this page allows you to pull in four different provider schedules, which we imagine will be pretty useful for preceptors especially, as they'll be able to keep track of their resident clinics. Now to pull in a patient, we're going to do it basically the same way we did on the daily tab, and that you'll click on that blue all icon, type in the name of the physician whose schedule you want to pull in, choose the one you want, and then just click OK. And you can do this in, um, you know, one of the panes, two of the panes, all four of the panes, whatever, whatever you want. And this is just a nice way of keeping track of your residents and, you know, their patients, where they are in, in the visit. And that's it for this session. Um, we really appreciate your taking the time. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to let us know. Thanks so much, everyone. Thank you.